So it's posting the video showing you how to open up a wine bottle with a tree. I've had a flood of people. Okay, well maybe I've I've had dozens of people. I've had several people point out to me the fact that I neglected to talk about pushing in the cork. Well, you're right. I did. I thought that the banging it up against the tree was a little bit more exciting than pushing in the cork. But, in all fairness, we'll go ahead and show you how to do it pushing in the cork. I'll use a piece of the same tree and there's going to be a twist at the end of this one that I'm almost certain that you've not seen. Stick around. Man, that tree almost ended me. Alright, for this one we're going to use a stick just smaller than the diameter, than the inside diameter of your uh, wine bottle opening. I'm going to say at this point Use extreme caution when performing this method. I have seen a wine bottle break and sliver into long, long shards, and uh, we'll just say there was blood spilled. Which is part of why I don't really like doing this one. It pressurizes the bottle and potentially causes it to break. We're going to do this really carefully. So, just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and use a shoe again. I'm going to put it in there and just push. Just pound it into there. Seems to be going. Eventually, you'll get it down in there a little ways. Push a little bit more. As long as your stick is not too large in diameter. <laughs> Which mine is. Let me whittle it down. I'll be right back. And as long as your stick's not too big in diameter, you'll be able to just push that cork right into the bottle. Cheers. Well, that's great, Squid, but I want to keep the cork. You what? Okay, I'm only kidding. I know that a lot of people, my family included, like to keep a cork if it's um, if the bottle's opened on a special occasion, or I know some people make crafts, uh, hot plates and... and um, I don't know, bulletin boards and stuff like that with the cork. So, that's the twist. I'm gonna show you how to get the cork out of this bottle. But first I'm gonna have to empty it. I'll be back. All right, now that we've taken care of that little detail, well, let's get the cork out. For that, you're gonna need a plastic shopping bag and a stick. Seems like everything needs a stick. Use the stick to stuff the shopping bag down into the wine bottle. Alright, now that you got it most of the way in there, open it up a little bit. Turn the whole thing upside down. Blow some air into it. Now, Pinch off the bag a little bit and pull. There she is, folks. The cork and an empty bottle. Yay! Now you can save your cork for your special occasion or make a hot plate out of it. Oh, and mom, just in case you were worried about me emptying that whole bottle of wine for a video. There it is. Just put it in another bottle. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. Um, do all the standard stuff if you like it. Click the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And share this on your Facebook page. That seems to be a, a real good way to, to, um, to get it out. So, thanks for your time. We'll see you next time. You thought I was going to forget about the family cookbook again, didn't you? Well, I almost did. But I didn't. And I find it only fitting that since the subject of today's video has been the fruit of the fruit of the vine, our piece of wisdom comes to us in the form of a toast of sorts. I find this best delivered when putting on your very best phony Scottish accent. Here goes. May those that love us, love us. And those that don't, may God turn their hearts. And if he don't turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles, so we'll know them by their limping. Cheers.
Thanks for watching.